I thought this was a fantastic tribute to Nelson Mandela today. Very uplifting. Wonderful speeches, great tributes, prayers, song, and an indomitable spirit amongst the people of South Africa. I mean, there were lots of world leaders here, but the most important thing for me is seeing so many South Africans from all walks of life making the effort to come here today. It's pouring with rain. It's a rotten day. And yet they were determined to be here to be part of the memory of Nelson Mandela and it's something I'm sure all the South Africans here today and all of them watching around the country will be thinking I'm going to tell my kids and my grandkids about there I was there the day that they held that memorial for Nelson Mandela and I think it'll be important in their lives and probably give them something of a taste of the Mandela legacy to carry on in their own lives. And any particular speech that really touched your heart? Well, I thought, um, I thought it was wonderful hearing his three grandsons and his great-granddaughter speak and pay their tributes. I thought that was very moving. I thought it was very moving to see Winnie Mandela embracing Grasha Michel, the widow and the former wife, uh, who clearly have become a very strong matriarchal presence in the Mandela family. And they have been beside the old man during these tough last few years and months and uh, they clearly now lead the family and I thought that was a very emotional moment and there's no doubt that Barack Obama's message was incredibly powerful and you could sense the crowd just hanging on every word there was a real message for everybody he was a you know the first black president of the United States, who clearly identified with the first black president of South Africa, who says, you know, as a youngster 30 years ago, hearing the Mandela story had stirred something in him and had set him out on the political path that led to him being here today as president of the United States. So, as he said, without Mandela, I probably wouldn't have been here today. And I thought that he laid down that challenge to the next generation, to youngsters, to say, hey, you know, take the best of Mandela's life and carry on your new lives, you know, in your lives, you know, you know make sure the legacy lives on. And I thought it was a, a very powerful speech and it clearly resonated with the people here and a lot of them took his words very seriously, I think.